Mark chapter 5, and we take it from verse 3 to 5. Who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no one could bind him, not even with chains, because he had often been bound with shackles and chains, and the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles broken in pieces, neither could anyone tame him. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying out and cutting himself with stones. The presence of the unclean spirit in this man drove him to some very bizarre behavior. Now, if you would saw him behaving, you would ask yourself, why should a human being be behaving that way? Well, remember, uh, there's something sitting inside of the man driving him and making him behave the way he behaved. And the three things I want to highlight about his behavior. The first is that he was ungovernable. He was uncontrollable. He was unrestrained. He was untamed, wild. We will call him mad by some definition, violent, and he possesses superhuman strength. So the passage says that all human efforts to help him had failed. People had tried to control him by chaining him. Uh, people had tried to bring him uh, under some kind of regiment or system uh, so that his life could be regulated. But nothing could regulate him. He couldn't be regulated. And the interesting observation here is this man who could break chains that were tied to him couldn't break free from what is inside of him. He had superhuman strength to exhibit strength externally, but internally he was helpless and, and, and couldn't be helped because what was inside of him couldn't be bound by chains. So the first thing you notice is he's ungovernable. So the second thing you notice about this man is that he disturbed everybody. And so the passage says that he cried night and day. He was out there in the tomb uh, making a lot of noise. And you know, many times people who are under some form of control behave in a way that disturbs everybody. And people get fed up with them, people get tired with them because they are making noise, they're disturbing you, uh, their bizarre behavior is just getting on everybody's nerves. And, 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 and people wonder, can't you think for yourself? Well, <laughs> this man couldn't think for himself because the storm is inside of him, not outside of him. He can break the chains outside of him, but cannot tame the storm inside of him. Third thing you notice about this man is he destroyed himself. He's self-destructive. So the passage says that he will cut himself with stones. I suppose that he will be bleeding all over. Uh, so his behavior doesn't just scare off people, doesn't just disturb people, but the behavior is destroying himself. He's cutting himself. He's wounding himself. And the reason is because something on the inside is just driving his life in a very, very uncontrollable way. And, and probably he wants help, but he can't get it because there is something inside of him. When evil spirits control people, that's what happens. They, they become self-destructive. He gives them self-destructive tools. For this man, it was a stone. For some people, it's a bottle of alcohol. Uh, for some people, it's, it's some uh, pornography that they are watching. It, it's, some people, it's gambling. Uh, whatever it is, it's a tool that becomes self-destructive. And it starts ruining their lives, but they just can't do anything about it. The good news is God can do something about it. So even if you cannot help yourself, God can help you. He's the deliverer. And that's why Jesus came from a storm in the sea right to this spot because this man was on his agenda. And I believe you or somebody near you is on God's agenda. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, have mercy on those whom the enemy has bound. Bring deliverance to their tortured souls. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.